I've got to make sure that YouTube comes down to take this. In this video, I'll show you the basic construction techniques for building a personal hovercraft powered by a cordless leaf blower. You start out by using a half inch plywood, cut out a four foot round disc. And then you cut in a four inch circle that'll accommodate a four inch ABS pipe. You insert it and you don't want it to go all the way through. You put it flush with the bottom and have it sticking out a couple inches. And you sand the sharp edge. I used six mil black plastic and you staple it onto the disc. And as you're putting it on, you want to don't fold it tight up against the plywood. I use a fold over with about two inches or two finger width away from the fold to the plywood. You staple it with three eighths inch heavy staples. And you attach it on one spot and then move 180 degrees to the opposite side and attach some staples. Then you go 90 degrees from that, attach some staples. Go 180 degrees across from that, do the staples. So you're in essence, you keep splitting the difference between the spots. You don't do it all in a row going around the circumference because the plastic will come out uneven. So the hole for the blower, you want to put about a third of the distance across the width of it. And then when you're stapling the plastic down, you want to do staples here and go straight across, staple there, staple there, staple there, and split the difference. And then just keep going in, until it's gone all the way around. Attach the ABS pipe with four screws that are screwed in at a 45 degree angle so they're toe nailed in. You drill a pilot hole and then put the screw in so it just penetrates the plastic and it'll hold it in place. Then you're going to take the four inch disc that you used that you cut out from the where the pipe goes and you're going to screw it down to the middle of the disc to hold the plastic firm against the bottom and then I put a piece of carpet over the top to protect the floor if you're doing it on a surface that it'll scratch screw that down firmly and then you're going to cut some holes right near the middle you want to stay away from the edge do it closer to the middle and this will allow the air to vent out. We used the Ego 56 volt cordless blowers and the nozzle fits exactly inside of the four inch ABS pipe. Um, fits nice and snug. If you're using a different type, you might need to make some kind of a shim so it'll fit in there snugly.